50 states and the District of Columbia have laws on the books that allow people with serious medical conditions to use medical marijuana, one of the most recent being Illinois. Illinois legalized marijuana as part of a four-year pilot project that has some of the strictest standards in the country. Getting into the pot business will be very expensive. Those who want to open dispensaries would need proof of about $400,000 in assets, plus thousands for other fees. The Illinois law took effect this year, but because of the regulatory process, experts say it will likely be 2015 before marijuana is available to the public. And as we first reported Monday, a medical marijuana bill has been introduced in the Kentucky legislature. That's a first in the Commonwealth. Western Kentucky Bureau Chief Mike Pickett has reaction from both sides on this controversial issue. To some, it's helpful. It's Roger Jolly working well. To others, it's harmful. I think we ought to be referring to it as a therapeutic marijuana. A new push to legalize medical marijuana in Kentucky will have lawmakers getting an earful. I'll say it's a misnomer, it's a myth. House and Senate bills were introduced in the General Assembly to put Kentucky in line with Illinois and 19 other states currently allowing it. But Davis County Sheriff Keith Kane questions how helpful it will be to the patients and the Commonwealth. Those drugs uh, uh, came to be as a result of stringent uh, prerequisites that were followed by the FDA before they became medicine. Uh, this is the only drug that I'm familiar with that we're talking about doing so by popular vote. Kane says in states like Colorado, driving's gotten more dangerous since 2006, even with the number of accidents decreasing. But in that same time frame, vehicle fatalities involving marijuana, much of it diverted medical marijuana, rose 114 percent. But officials at the Marijuana Policy Project say some opponents' fears, like increased use among teens, are unfounded. The data are very clear and reassuring on that score. That has not happened in the 15 states for which there is before and after data. And legalizing marijuana for the ill will be more helpful than harmful. But what we often hear from medical marijuana patients who have long histories of being prescribed, you know, hard drugs, they, they describe marijuana as a gateway back. As for the state of both bills, the Senate bill is still a committee while the House bill was only introduced last week. From the Western Kentucky Bureau in Owensboro, Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.